The book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 49. I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? NLT translation, and it reads, I have come to set the world on fire and I wish it were already burning. These are the words of our King, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai, the one the world ignorantly called Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai and this is what he said. He says, I have come to set the world on fire and I wish it was already burning. When our king, Yahweh Shai, shows up to redeem his elect and put down this kingdom, this world will literally be on fire. Let's begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our heavenly father, and his only begotten son, our Redeemer, our Savior, our big brother. Oh, he brings a lot of joy into our heart, especially these last days. Every day, family, we are rejoicing. Because why? We know that our salvation <laughs> draweth nigh. That's right. The hopeful elect family, the more buildings, the more cars, the more police stations, the more a family, all these places are on fire. Family, the more they set all these things on fire, the more we, reju we rejoice. You know why? Because the Lord told us these are the things that are going to take place before he comes. Yes. Finally, we never thought that this kingdom, this wicked kingdom that has had, that had us in captivity for all these years will finally be put down. Eh? Yes. And guess who's doing that? Our power, Yahweh, orchestrating everything that you see on this planet. The chaos, the famine, the destruction, the confusion. Guess who's bringing it? It is Yahweh. And he's using Esau. The wicked, the so self-proclaimed white man, that's right. He's the one the Lord is using to bring down his own kingdom. How beautiful is that, eh? The so-called Latinos, the so-called Negroes, the so-called African Americans, Native Americans, Hispanics. That's right. These are the children of the Lord. Yes, it is hard for people to actually believe that we are the children of the Lord. Even the fact that they don't believe him, that is also prophecy. Let's go to the book of Hosea. Hmm? Hosea 1 verse 9. Eh? Hosea 1 verse 9. It says here. Verse 10. It says, yet the time will come actually no 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 a, this is nlt let's read it it's fine yet the time will come when israel people will be like the sign of the seashore too many to count then at the place where they were told you are not my people it will be said you are the children of the most the children of the living power are you hearing this let's read it in the nlt quick the, the king james version and let's read the King James Version. It says here, let's open this up a bit so you can see it. It says here, Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. 
and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, then it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. You know what? Every nation can be the so-called J-E-W, the so-called Jew. But when it comes to our people, yeah, we can never be the children of the Lord. Oh, no, 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 we can never. Look at you. You, you niggas are the children of the Lord. No, it can never happen. No, you're talking about the native, the savages, but that's okay. That's how the Lord has set it up. Yes, that's why the Lord said the wisdom of this world is foolishness to it. the Lord. They want to go through DNA and do all their pseudoscience and their BS. Yes, just to prove that they are the children of the Lord. Look at what is happening on the land right now. Look at Jerusalem. Look at Israel. Do they have peace? No, family, as a matter of fact, there's another civil war about to start on the line right now. We know the IDF, the Israeli army, attacked uh, a neighborhood in Jenin. This is, these are all the things that are happening. But guess what? The Lord said, when we, the children of Israel, when we return to that land, family, it will be peace. You're talking about the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the beginning and the end. His kingdom, our king, Yahweh Shai's kingdom, family. No, family, there will be no more war. The first thing he's coming, family, that's why he's putting down all these nations. And after he put them down, family, this nation will never learn war anymore. That's a matter of fact. Let's go. Uh, let's go to here. Let's see if I can bring it up. We'll never learn war no more. Let's bring it up, family. Oh, come on. What is it? Is it? Please bear with me. I got to bring this up. I don't know why it's not coming up. Oh yeah, Michael. I should have known that, man. My goodness, man. Michael 4. Let's go there quickly. What's happening here? Yeah. Michael 4. Michael 4, it says here. Let's get a proper translation. So, family, let's read it. It says here, And who? And he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off, and they shall be their swords into plowshares. When the king Yahawashai comes, family, this is what he's about, he's going to do. He's put, putting all these nations down. Family is destroying them. Their army, their weapons, family, their jets, their submarines, their, their what is it, drones, family, the Yahweh is destroying everything. Hmm. And whatever is left, this is what is going to happen. This is whatever is left is going, is going to be what? And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, meaning what? Farming equipment. And their spears into pruning hooks. Nation, listen to this, beloved. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. So then you ask yourself, why are these people constantly fighting? The so-called J-U-W, the one living on the line right now, attacking Syria, Syria back and forth, Iran, uh, Hezbollah, family. Why are they still fighting? Because they are not the people. That's, that's, that's it. They are not the people of the book. They are imposters. They are fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, the king is coming. And family, everybody will see him. Yahweh Shai is coming. Yahweh Shai is coming. That's why he says, family, he says, he says, he wish this place is actually on fire before he shows up. And he's going to be on fire. 
family let's get into the lesson it's not going to be too long couple of articles and uh you know just to comfort you when you see in these things rejoice rejoice this is not a time to you know you know you know uh get into like a fetus uh, uh, position and start crying and no, this is the time that you're rejoicing and boasting in the name of our power, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Let's lift up that name. The name is Yahweh, our heavenly father, and his only begotten son, the redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai. Those are the only two names that are going to get us out of this place. Hmm? That's right. And these nations are afraid. We are encouraging Esau, the self-proclaimed white man. He said, whatever you got to do, just bring it. Collapse the system, introduce your digital uh, currency, and introduce the micro to the CHIP, Revelation 13, 16, which is going to give everybody a micro to the CHIP under their skin. That's the only way you're going to survive in this system. And we say, bring it. Stop delaying. Stop trying to find the right time to do it. You know, this false flag. No, just bring it. We know what you're about to do because the Lord gave us the eyes off. The Lord gave us this truth. Hey, all praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. Family, we love that name. That name, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. Family, when we see these headline news, man, it brings joy, joy, pure joy into our hearts. Finally, to see your enemy fall, oh, family, that's why we say all praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the power of our forefathers. His name is Yahweh, simply means he is, and his only begotten son, the one who is coming with thousands and thousands and thousands of chariots to take down this kingdom. His name is Yahweh Shai, and we cannot wait to see the king, family. We know we're going to go. Jacob's trouble is right at the corner. Yes, we're going to go through the tribulation. But guess what? We have hope. That's right. We have faith. Because he has shown us enough. I am content. Family, I am. I, he has shown me enough eh, to trust in him. He has shown. I don't need more uh, chaos. But I have seen enough. And that's what? That is faith. The king is coming and there's nothing anybody can do to stop what is about to take place on this planet. Oh, family, we haven't even started. The, uh, this is not even the appetizer. Now we are just walking into the hall. When you walk into the hall, you have the soft music playing. Everybody, you grab a drink, you say hello. They haven't stopped seven. They haven't started anything yet. Oh, yes. Yeah, what is happening in France? Oh, family, this is nothing. It is going to get worse. Not, it's not only going to happen in France. It's going to be worldwide. That's why we give honor and glory to our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Because why? We have the sure word of prophecy. It's all about prophecy. It's all about prophecy, family. If you're looking for, uh, what is it called? Uh, if, you, if, you, if you tune in to listen to Prosperity Gospel, this is not for you. No, we are preaching the downfall of this kingdom. Preaching the coming of our king, the true king, not, not King Charles. No, the true king. His name is Yahweh Shai. That's the one coming to take over this planet, the whole kingdom. He's not going to leave one to this particular nation and that nation sit down and say, let's negotiate. No, he's going to own everything, their resources and themselves. He's going to own this nation, family, every nation family is going to be subject to what? Yahweh Shai. That's right. They're all going into captivity. That's what Yahweh Shai is, is about to family. He is about to take over everything because that's what he was blessed with. His father says, ask of me and I will give you the heathen for thy inheritance. And he promised that he's going to share the kingdom with his men. Oh yeah. His man. So family, he gave us a job to do and we are doing it to the best of our ability. And when he shows up, yes, you have mercy on us and deliver us and bless us with that beautiful kingdom. His kingdom. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. Oh, family, let's get into it. Oh, this thing bring a lot of joy to my heart. And I hope, family, I hope you are rejoicing in the name of our king. The kingdom is falling. Let's, let's open this up a bit. Let's, let's read this. It says over, uh, this is from end, end time headlines. It says over 
a thousand buildings have been burnt and 5,600 cars destroyed in the first week of riots in France. Family, you have, since when do you see protesters holding machine guns, AK-47 on the street? Eh? Just random, just shooting, family. They are fighting the police officers. Anyway, family, they are in the street holding all type of weaponry because family, that's also prophecy. We're going to get it. Second Ezra chapter 9. The Lord told you. Second Ezra chapter 15. Second Ezra chapter 16. Family, we are living in Ezra, man. Man, I love that book. Eh? Eh, bring Everything the Lord says is going to happen, family, is happening. It is happening. It is happening. It says here, they hear. You see, family, this is what, this is what, this is what excites me. Eh? This is what is. <laughs> Somebody will say, man, you are really boring. But it's okay. Eh? Because we are looking forward to a new kingdom. Family, a new ki kingdom is coming. The new kingdom is coming. Family, don't listen to Esau. Esau said, this is the end of the world. Buy, go and, and buy a bunker and start digging and stock up on food for 30 years. No, family. No. We're not going to be here for 30 years. The most high forbid. We're not going to be. Family, right after the, 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 the moment that third world war start, family, Prepare yourself to go home to meet your king. Oh yeah, we don't know what time, we don't know what hour. But family, when it, when it gets really bad, when his elect are in danger, guess what? Who's gonna step in? Michael. That's right. He says Michael is gonna step in. Uh, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, I must well bring it out. Family, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Let's bring it out. Let's bring it up. Let's bring it up. Uh, what's my Bible now? Oh, what happened here? Let's go to um. Let's go to Mike uh, Daniel. Daniel twelve, family. Daniel twelve, verse one. Just Daniel twelve. Just read it, family. It says here, and at that time shall Michael stand up. Because why is he going to stand up? Because it's going to be so bad. That's family is gonna be terrible. Even the elect family, they says the elect shall be one scarcely saved. That's when Michael is gonna step in. We're gonna go through it. But guess what? The Lord, the angels are watching the elect. And we pray that hopefully we are the hopefully elect. It says here, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. The elect of Israel, not everybody, the elect of Israel, the rest of the nation, none of them is receiving salvation. Salvation is only for the 12th tribe of Israel. And the so called Latinos, Blacks, Native American, African American, Negroes, that's right, spread across the four corners of the world. That's right, they are the one Yahweh Shai is coming for. He's not coming for Esau, Edom. He's coming to destroy Esau, Edom. And again, some of our people are going to look like some of these nations. That's right. Because we live among them. We marry their daughters. Eh? Their daughters marry our men. So family, we mingle among these nations. So some of them are going to be like, there's some, as I said, sort of, some of our people are going to look like those nations. So yes, it's not a color thing. Okay. It all goes back to the bloodline of Jacob from Abraham, Isaac, unto Jacob. Yes, that's what is coming. So family, Daniel 12, 1, when it, it's going to get bad, eh? it's going to get really bad. But we know that, guess what? We have hope. We have the sure mercies of what? David. Let's bring it out. Oh, what happened here? Let's get the article. It's all here. So now, let's read this here. It says over a thousand buildings, think about it, thousand buildings have been burned and 5,600 cars destroyed in the first week. So this is the first week, beloved, of riots in France. Hmm? The huge extent of damage and vandalism caused in nearly a week of nightly riots in France has been dramatically underlined with summary of recorded burning so far, with the toll running to thousands of vehicles and buildings. 
According to Breitbart, Ministry of the Interior figures taking account of damage to people and property during the now six nights of riots triggered by the shooting death by a police officer of an Algerian heritage teenager in Paris suburb at the traffic stop revealed there have been 5,662 vehicles fired so far, reports Le Parisien. The widespread destruction of vehicles which as images recorded in the areas of unrest in France attest, include not just private cars, but also trucks and buses. Trams have also been targeted by vandals. In one widely reported case, a large truck was stolen by looters to ram down the doors of a mall to gain access to the merchandise inside. There were 19 there were 1,919 vehicles fired on Thursday night alone. Attacks on public transport is not without its own consequences, particularly for less affluent communities who disproportionately rely on it to get around, a point made by the grandmother of the slain teen at the heart of this unrest. Now, family, this is the Lord's judgment. That's what is coming. There's nothing anybody can do about this here. France riot film brandishing military grade weapons. Family, oh yes, whether it is false flag to introduce the micro to the CHIP. Family, we all know that it is the Lord that is controlling this. He said, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord has not done it? He said, first, he said, shall the trumpet be blown and the people not be afraid? That's right. We are blowing the trumpet. We're telling you what is coming. Family, this is not, we haven't even started the appetizer yet. We haven't, we are just literally walking into the hall. Everybody in their best, you know, you know, we're waiting for the bridegroom to come in and then we're going to clap our hand and work. Yeah, we haven't started eating anything yet. Remember, it's a seven course meal. We haven't, so all this fire here, oh, family, this is just people now driving into the, 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 the what is it called? Uh, the place, you know. Driving into the, uh, the the hall. Yeah, it's just, you know, just relaxing, you know. And then they're going to grab themselves a drink. And you know how it is when you get to uh, a wedding party. That's right. This is just the beginning. Nothing has started here. We thank the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Because he says it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. And that's what we're looking forward to. Because family, the sooner this thing goes down, the quicker we get out of here. Yes. We have no stock in this family. We want this thing to escalate. If Russia and the NATO and America and the China, uh, China, Taiwan, America, uh, what is it, Syria, Iran, Syria, sorry, I mean, not Syria, uh, Israel, Iran, uh, part, uh, and what's the other nations? Um, uh, there's another one. North Korea, South Korea, family, we want this whole thing to start. We want the Third World War to start. But in due time, though, it is all coming. It is all coming. And we are extremely happy. Our family, Lord willing, we are among the numbers. Let's go here. It says, France rioters filmed brandishing military great weapons. Okay, let's, let's see if we can play this here. <laughs>
let's go here let's read here this uh this uh, this uh, rt news it says spiraling west bank violence could spell political doom for both israeli and palestinian leadership you see what what the lord is doing okay the lord has shown us he has shown us too, too much eh? we are so blessed beloved we are extremely happy that the lord is showing us exactly what he's doing but these nations especially the world economic forum the ones that are about to you know they think they are the one controlling it the whole thing is leading the, everything is leading to the the, the uh, micro to the chip eh? but they don't know that this is it's not gonna it's never gonna happen the lord said they will not fulfill their enterprise eh? they think that they're going to destroy this current system and introduce the new system it's called what build back better and the world reset this is about the reset beloved some of these guys that you're seeing with this uh, military grade um i mean this is in palestine right now but uh the previous video that we saw yes it could be false flag eh but guess what though at the end of the day it is the lord nothing happened without his hand no directing he's the this is his movie he's the one directing this and we give honor and glory again to our power yahweh by hashem yahweh let's read a little bit of this article it says here this is what's happening in palestine and, and uh and uh israel right now you know this is what has happened last night it was a huge raid in um in a, a small town called Jenin, i believe you know i think it, i think they saw either 40 people were injured or and uh few people were killed yeah? and remember again we read that what when we go back to that land there will be peace family I mean, how was kingdom you think this nonsense is going to be going on no we're talking about the only begotten okay the king of kings the lord of lords none of this nonsense the people are going to be walking around with guns you're going to eat whatever they want everybody going to do whatever their heart desire you're going to worship whatever pops in your head no there will be order in the kingdom and that is what we are expect this is what we are praying for day in and day out asking that the lord will cut the time short and bring the righteous kingdom eh to remove all these devils out of the way here that it says here the latest upsurge in violence throughout the occupied West Bank signals the failure of US led efforts to create calm both the Palestinian authority and the Israeli government were faced with domestic pressure to take escalatory measures against the opposing side resulting in an Israeli military operation against Palestinian armed groups in Jenin I love that they said America man let's go to here let's let's see if I can bring it here let's go back uh no let's go to family listen to what the lord said can the ethiopian change his skin no because that's the skin color the lord blessed him. it says all the leopard his spot then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Esau doesn't know how to do good. Esau is about destruction. America to bring peace where America has never built anything. Okay? They haven't brought peace anywhere. Esau is all about destruction. He doesn't know life. He doesn't know family. Look at the policies that they push him. You tell me if you have an island And then in this island family you put all so called all men okay in one island or all, all women eh in one island hmm and then let's say three island don't you have three island follow me the first island just men the second island all women and then the third island you have men and women return 10 years later family which island eh would be prosperous eh It's never going to be Esau look at the policy that Esau is pushing Esau is telling children to what G- gender reassignment hmm alphabet lifestyle 
taking the natural food that the Lord gave us, family, taking it to factory, eh, and giving us a fake one, eh? GMOs, spraying chemtrails in the air. Everything is polluted under this devil. He can do good. America to bring peace. Let's get back to the article. Let's get back to the article, family. It says here, the latest upsurge in violence throughout the occupied West Bank signal the failure. You hear that? The failure of U.S.-led efforts to create calm. Like, look at America itself. Civil war is about to pop up. We have, we have gender wars, class war, family. This is political war. This is the thing. These are the things that are going on in America. And then you expect America to do what? It says charity starts at home, family. You can take care of your own house. How are you going to take care of somebody else's house? But that's the illusion that they've sold to these nations. At one point, people ate it up. America, eh? the beacon of light. Eh? Democracy, freedom, liberty. Yes, look at what liberty has done to the people. Look at the people. Look at the, how, look at the state of the people. They actually, you know what? Let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus. Let's bring it out. Let's bring it out and glorify our power. Eh? Let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus. I think it's Ecclesiasticus 10. I could be wrong, but let's go there. Yes, yes, here it is. It says, a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Can you say this about the Biden administration, the American leadership around the world for me? No, nations are now saying, no, 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 no. Listen, we don't want this. This wine, we can't drink this wine anymore. We are tired. Hey? Because if we follow you, we all going to fall up. We all going to fall off the cliff. And the nations are now, they've had enough. They don't want America. They don't want to do business with America. Finally, people are walking away from the dollar. American democracy family now fam, is being abhorred. Nobody wants to have anything to do with American policy. Because why? It is the Lord's judgment. But here it says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his offices. And what manner of a man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Look at, look at the leadership. You have a president's son smoking crack, you know, all type of debauchery, and he films it. Hey, eh? taking bribes around the world. Family, that's right. they full of all type of corruption. This is the leader of the so-called free world. This is his son. And he is also part of it. Family, the whole system from the head down family is all corrupt. But we are extremely happy, extremely glad that finally we are about to receive a king like no other. Yahweh Shai. It says, as the judge of the people is himself, family, going to Ghana, telling the nations that, yes, if you change your values, saying, eh? eh? You turn your little boys into girls, you push the LGBT community in your uh, in your in, in, in you know you uh, the end sorry you push the LGBT lifestyle in your community. Guess what? We will give you money. You see, yeah, we'll give you 50 million. I think was it 60 million Kamala Harris uh, offered to uh, Ghana, and then some and then she went visited other countries across the continent. They said, No, 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 we don't want it. Keep your money, keep your money. That's America. That's how vile they've become. Eh? You see, this is what you... That's why, family, the Lord said, depart. This place is not for you. This is not your rest. It says it's polluted. It shall destroy you with sore destruction. You see, we have the sure word of prophecy. Eh? 
the Lord is removing the covering cast of, of all these nations. They're going to see America for what it is. It is nothing but degenerates. That's right. The only thing now that's holding them, the only thing that really, really holding America right now is their military. But now, guess what? Now you have another superpower. You have China, and then you have Russia, and you have Iran. And those are the ones that are going to team up to take down the beast. It is coming. It is coming. It is coming. So yes, all this nation putting their trust, putting their trust in America, you know, like, no, 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 it's not, no, 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 no. It's not, uh, uh, it's over for America. It's over for America. Because you follow America, you're going to destroy your society. They cannot, family, they are losing every, the, the narrative. Before they could, they could tell a lie, you know, the lie become the truth. Because over time, when you continue to speak lie, eh, it becomes the truth, eh? But now, no, people are waking up. People are waking up to this BS. But let's get it. Family, let's finish off with Second Ezra. I want to read a bit of here. Let's glorify our power, man. Let's glorify the Musa Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai for this beautiful gospel. Family, Yahweh said it again in Matthew 28, 20, that he will be with us to the end of the day. Family, you feel, you feel the spirit of your king. Eh? You feel his spirit in you. You are rejoicing. Family, you see chaos around the world. And listen, and you have peace. How crazy is that? How insane is that? He told you. He says in the, in the time of famine, he says what? You shall have plenty. He said in the time of destruction, ye shall laugh. That's what we are doing. We are actually laughing. We are rejoicing. We see places on fire and we could care less. So what? What are you going to do to us? He said, we don't love our love. We say, let, let, let's go back. Is it, uh, is it Revelation? Revelation 12, 11. I think it's Revelation 12, 11. Uh, let's see, is it Revelation 12, 11? Let's, I think it's Revelation 12, 11. I just want to bring it here. Revelation 12. Family, I'm just, please bear with me. I'm just flowing with the spirit here. Revelation 12, 11. It says, well, we don't love our life. He said they didn't they didn't care about their life to the end. Is it 11, 12? No, I think it's 12, 11. Let's go to 12. Revelation 12, verse 11. This is how the elect are. This is the mindset of the elect. Is this 12, 11? Yes, Revelation 12, 11. It says here, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. He's talking about his elect, especially the elect men. That's right. Because family, when they, when they come and grab us, yeah, for the testimony of Yahweh, you think we're going to worry about them killing us? No, 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 because we know that even if we lose our life for the king, we're taking one for the king, the king is going to raise us up. That's, this is our mindset. He says here, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Out of who's the lamb? Yahweh Shai. And by the word of their testimony. This is the word of Yahweh Shai. Te this is his word. Remember, it says what? The testimony of who? Yahweh Shai is what? The spirit of prophecy. So we're telling you that the king is coming to take your kingdom. So if that means you're going to grab us up and then lock us up and whatever you have to do to us, torture us. No, 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 family. We are not taking anything that you're offering us. We, we're preaching the gospel. The gospel of Yahweh Shai. And we know that even if we die preaching this gospel, he is going to raise us up. That's why it says here, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives. You hear that? That's the mindset that we are in, Lord willing. He said, And they love not their life unto death. We want to be in that spirit of Stephen. When Stephen is being stoned, eh? And he look up, he says, man, I see the Most High. I see the king sitting on the right hand of his, of his father, Yahweh. That's the mind. We know that the Lord is going to put the spirit on his family. We, know that we might not even feel the pain. Our spirit will just leave the body and go back to the Lord, our king. 
And then he's going to put us in that new body, that new tabernacle. And we're going to come down with him, Lord willing. Yes, that's the mindset of the hopeful elect. That's right. That's what is coming. Eh? So Esau, you're going to lose. No matter what you're about to do, we just say, bring it. Bring it. You got you to gotta do what you got to do because you are the devil. You are the devil. Eh? Actually, no, don't. let's go. Let's finish here, beloved. Let's finish here. Let's finish. Um, I'll put all these articles in the description box. Um, and then you can access it. But rejoice, family. This is not a time to be, you know, to be, you know, to be, you know, to be worrying about what is coming. No. The king got us. He did, he's the one that gave us this word. We didn't. He gave us this word. He gave it to you for a reason. To tell you that he's with you. He's going to deliver us, Lord willing. He says here, 2nd Ezra chapter 9, it says here, starting from verse 1, it says, He answered, he, he answered, consider all these things very carefully. When you see that some of the signs I have told you about have appeared, you will know that the time has come when the Most High will bring judgment on the world. He has created. There will be earthquakes, national rebellion. Family, aren't we seeing that on the road right now? Protesters fighting, fighting the police. Family setting police stations on fire, robbing police station and breaking into family. Odd. Isn't that what is happening right now? He said there will be earthquakes, national rebellions, international intrigues, unstable leaders. And confused rulers. You look at the Macron face. Does he look like he's in charge? No. He has lost control. We're talking about Macron, the French president. He has family. He can't. He has lost control. That's why he says what? They shall not regard their kings. This says there will be sedition among men. Invading one another. For lack of bread. Oh, that time is coming. He says here. There will be earthquakes, national rebellions, international intrigues, unstable leaders, and confused rulers. When you see these things happening, you will know that they are what the Most High has spoken about since the beginning of creation. The beginning and the end of everything that happens in this world are clear. The same is true in the world above. Wonders and miracles show the beginning of events and mighty signs show when they end. Yes, the end is here. Some people will escape destruction and be saved by their good works or by their faith. Mm -hmm. The elect, they are the only good. Only the elect are going to be, uh, the only, only the elect will have faith. Hmm? All of them will survive the dangers I have described and will enjoy the salvation provided in the land that I have set apart from eternity as my own. Family, when the Lord said, eyes have not seen what he has prepared for his elect. No matter what we go through on this end, family, the apostle Paul said, can never be compared to what the Lord has prepared for those that love him. The Lord Yahweh is about to give you everything. Do you know what is on the rest of the planet that we have no clue on? Remember when Yahweh Shai said that, I've gone to prepare a place for you. Our king has he's been gone for 2,000 plus years. If my brethren tell me, listen, man, you go, I haven't seen you in 10 years, but by, by the time you come, I'll have something nice set up for you. If I'm, I'll be looking forward to that. I said, man, 10 years, man, this guy's been preparing to see me for 10 years. It has to be something great. The king has been gone for 2,000 plus years. Only we, that's why he says, the Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh said, eyes have not seen or ears have not heard. And roughly paraphrasing what the Lord has prepared for those that love him. That's the elect. That's the mindset that we're in. Whatever we are going through on this end here, you know, headache, stress, you know, Dealing with family members, all that stuff. Family. Apostle Paul said, it's never going to be compared 
to what the Lord has prepared for us. That's why I said when we wake up in the kingdom, it's going to be like a bad dream. Because everything that we went through here, fam, is going to be wiped away because there's no remembrance of formal things. That's what is coming. It's going to be wiped away. It says, yes, some people will escape destruction and be saved. Again, these are the elect by their good works or by their faith. All of them will survive the dangers I have described and will enjoy, will enjoy the salvation provided in the land that I have set apart from when? From eternity as my own. And listen to those words. Then those who have ignored my ways and held them in contempt will be surprised when they find themselves in continual torment. This will include all those who ignore me while they were alive, even though they accepted the blessings I gave them. That's right. These are your family members. They are rich in this world, so they don't think about the Lord. They don't think about the Lord. Mm -hmm. They don't think about the Lord. The Lord is not in their thought. I have a family member, a good family member, a relative, saying to me, oh man, I don't think what you're saying is going to happen, man. There will never be a third world war. I just don't see America being on fire. Yeah, okay. I said, all right. That's why the Lord said, don't cast your pearls before the swine. They just trump. Don't, don't, don't try to convince your family. Don't. If they don't get it, that's fine. It's okay. Because we all want to, we would love to see our family members being saved. But no. They, 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 that's, that's their lot. Because at the end of the day, this message, the Lord is not looking for everybody. That's one thing you have to keep in mind. It says the elect has obtained it and the rest were blinded. It's not for everybody. And that's the sad part. You can see what is happening, but they cannot see it. It says this will include all those who ignore me while they were alive. Even though they accepted the blessings I gave them, it will include all those who scorned my law during the time they were free to do so and all those who refused to repent when they still had the chance. The torment they will have to suffer after death will force them to recognize the truth. Therefore, listen to this, therefore, Ezra, you should stop asking questions about how the wicked will be punished. Instead, be concerned about how and when the righteous will be saved. The world was created for them, was created for the righteous, was created for them and belongs to them. I said, I must repeat what I said before. The lost far outnumber, also oh, the lost far outnumber those who are saved. And it's like wave compared with a drop of water. Wow. We're going to leave it there, beloved. We're going to leave it there. Let's give honor and glory to our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Nukakodash. Because family, this place is on fire. And the Lord already said it. The place will literally be on fire before he comes. And this is what you're looking at. This is France. Yeah, this is not the so-called developed. No, this is your Western, uh, 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 what is it called? Government. But not your Western government. This is your so-called developed. Eh? Eh? One of, I think, one of the G7 countries. That's right. This is France. This is not uh, somewhere, this is not Bogota, uh, Colombia. This is not Nigeria. This is not Ghana. Eh? This is France. This is what you're looking at. What does that tell you? The Lord hands are all over this. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord has not done it? <laughs> may family seek ye the Lord while he may be found. We are extremely blessed to have this truth. I hope you are edified. I hope you are edified. And uh, Lord willing, Lord willing, bring another lesson soon. Okay, let's continue to stay prayed up. Family, we've won the lottery. Our king is coming. Our king, Yahweh is coming. And he's going to redeem us. 
the whole full elect. We pray that we are among the numbers. You have faith, continue to believe eh? in sincerity and in truth. You can't have any doubt. We've seen enough. The Lord has shown us enough eh? to comfort us. We have the sure word of prophecy. Family, you're not going to get this from any other nations. All their books or whatever they worship is not even worth mentioning. We have the true power, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. With that, family, I hope you are blessed. I hope you are edified or praises on and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, our king, the redeemer of Israel, who's going to live among us, family. The king, Yahweh Shai, is going to live among us. We're going to see the king in the kingdom, family, and it's our king, Yahweh Shai. I will leave it there, Shalom.